okay it's hard to say good morning good afternoon or you know wherever you are in the world anyway it's 7 a.m for me uh so let me introduce myself first uh, and like some of the team members will come later uh today so my name is Gusdan. Uh, I'm a visiting scholar at MIT, uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and now uh, I'm in Boston. Uh, so we have a great team. We have like a lot of uh, like graduate students, instructors uh, from several different institutions. So we are happy that you are with us. Uh, so I, I want to introduce first Sarvin, uh, then Separ and Hilal. Uh, so. Uh, I mean, I will let them introduce later, actually, and I, I really want you to introduce yourself as well. So Sarvin is, uh, uh, is going to be a master's student very soon in, at uh, Texas Tech University. Uh, she recently graduated from Istanbul Technical University, so, and we've been working with her for more than two years, if I'm not wrong, in the same project that you will be part of it. Uh, and uh, Sarvin and Separ are the people that you are going to be uh, together for a long time. If you have any questions, do not like hesitate to email them or use the Discord. So I, I'm sure they're going to, usually they don't sleep at all. So they will answer your, your questions uh, very quickly. And Separ uh, is uh, now almost graduating a master's student at Istanbul Technical University, but also he will start like another master program in Texas Tech University. Uh, Hilal is my dear uh, student. She's a student of mine from Izmir, from Turkey, Izmir University of Economics. Uh, and you will be seeing uh, two more uh, of our graduate students. One is uh, Varlık uh, from Istanbul Technical University and Nur uh, again from Istanbul Technical University. But we will also have a guest instructor, uh, Özgün, uh, Özgün Balaban. Uh, he used to be a, like a postdoc at Delft University and he will be teaching at Columbia very soon uh, next semester. So we are not uh, really limited with locations. We've been working together uh, in different time zones, in different media, uh, on the same project for the last two years. And we really want to welcome you to our uh, project and to this workshop, actually. So I keep seeing like the project, not only the workshop, because like how we build our team was like a random coincidence in some of the classes that we had together. Then we kept working in the same project since then. So I want to welcome you to both of these like, to digital futures and to our project. So we have okay, a few more people to admit. So do you want to add anything or do you have any questions? I will leave the introduction to, to like, I will leave a bit of more time to introduce yourself later because I really want the others to come. Uh, by the way, we are really sorry about the delays. Uh, we kind of emailed you through the system, uh, but if you have any friends who couldn't reach us, you know, because, you know, of the Zoom links or anything, uh, please let us know. Uh, the first day is not going to be streamed, unfortunately, because of some technical problems, but like we will put these recordings later to YouTube. Uh, and we will be putting all of these on like in digital future uh, workshops, uh, workshop YouTube channel, but also to our channel, uh, the, uh, Digital Caravan Sarai. Um, and we have a Discord uh, channel. If you have any instant questions, do not hesitate to ask any questions through this uh, media. And what else? I'm sure Sarvin and Separ will correct me if I'm wrong, but they will remind you again. But like we are newly developing an Instagram page. Uh, you can add us, you know, personally. You know, I mean, we don't we like we will appreciate that. But also, do not forget to you know add our Instagram, like follow our Instagram page uh, if you are interested or if you are using any social media. So I think we have we will have more technical stuff later introduced by Separ and Sarvin. Uh, I mean, they are mostly more experienced than I am. They've been putting all their effort to this workshop. Uh, like on the top of our other 
uh, you know, workshop leaders. Uh, so we have Hilal with us. I think we will have the other others come as well. So let me introduce, let me share my screen. Yes. Maybe it will be better if you open your camera so it, the integration will be better. Yeah, I mean, if you feel like it, they might be in different places, but yeah, we, we would love to see yeah. your faces if you can. But, you know, that's... So, one more. Okay, so... I introduced myself already. We will have a long introduction about the list of the participants, uh, but like I'm, uh, I'm Gizdan. Uh, usually like our students here at MIT, they call me Professor G, or you can just call me G, just that's the first letter of my uh, long uh, first and last name. So uh, I've been working in the digital heritage, uh, yeah, I mean, especially in academia and in practice for more than 20 years. Uh, and uh, game and gamification is kind of a new things that we've been doing for the last four or five years in this field. But uh, I spent most of my uh, academic uh, career working on, and thinking about the heritage, digital heritage. So. Oops, yeah. So I will start with some introduction and uh, about, you know, what it means, digital cultural heritage and what we'll be discussing and what we, what we will be thinking while doing this workshop as well. So digital heritage or digital cultural heritage or uh, sometimes like at MIT together with my host professor Takeko Nagakura, we usually like use the term design heritage because uh, so it's the digitization of cultural heritage elements means the architectural her heritage, the tangible heritage uh, or intangible heritage so that we can convert these, uh, you, you know, the, our past into a, a new environment that recently we started using the term metaverse. So why are we doing that? Like why it's so important to have uh, the heritage to be converted in a di digital world is because in the age of artificial intelligence where we are trying to create a, like a parallel universe, but also try to teach the computer how they can uh, understand the human being, uh, culture heritage is the main topic. I think it should be there before anything else for the representation of the diversity, uh, for the uh, like representation of different cultures. Uh, so for that, we've been using several different tools, different research methods, but like the workshop will be more about the gamification, means uh, inserting the game elements into daily life but also use the game as a learning environment. Uh, just to you know, explain our point of view, it's like I want to start with a very shocking video that, like, I'm I'm sure you just like you just you saw these things on social media. So uh, unfortunately, the heritage uh, is going through a big threat. You know, cultural, like culture, climate change is one of the, uh, you know, kind of threat that the cultural heritage is going through. But also we have several factors that are destroying the cultural heritage because it, it belongs to different cultures. Sometimes it faces some hatred from different cultures. So this project, the specific project that I'm showing the video is the digitization of uh, culture heritage objects. Uh, through some images collected from the internet. Means that like when they were destroying the artifacts in Mosul in museums, uh, like the terrorists, they were like destroying, but at the same time, 
in a way for the public good actually it happened to be recorded through social media so these digital archaeologists they've been recording that they've been using these recordings collected means some videos and images from the internet to reconstruct uh, these artifacts so as you can see through some very poorly collected images photographs you know whatever resources they've been uh, using some of these photogrammetry methods in order to make the, the 3D models. So why it's so important? Because these artifacts, they do, not, they do not exist anymore in real life. They do not exist in the museums, but they only they exist only in the virtual environment. So that's like always that has been my inspiration for a long time. And also we will be using some of these same methods uh, in our workshop means that we will be using some emergency photogrammetry to in order to like reconstruct these, uh, you know, some not really under the same threat, but the same kind of decline uh, or, um, you know, the construction of this heritage. So another inspiration, of course, is that, you know, like we, I, I didn't want to start from a very negative uh, slide, but is that the positive income of artificial intelligence, you know, that recently, uh, I mean, that's like, it's been already, I think, if, if I'm not wrong, wrong, seven years that the computer beat uh, the human uh, in a game called Go. Uh, through the, you know, through the, through AlphaGo, that is uh, a product of machine learning uh, algorithms. So, uh, so I want to say that the games, and especially some complex games like Alpha, uh, like um, SA Go in this case, uh, has been a playground for the computer because it's very challenging still to learn from humans. Uh, and like have all these data sets, but also beat the human. So it means that creates like some digital uh, human beings and human minds is a very challenging thing. And uh, finally they did it. So in the age of AI, we are talking about two things. One thing is that in terms of the heritage, we need to reconstruct these artifacts. And we need to create a dig digital data because, you know, data is the big, like, is the new um, gold, I can say. Uh, but also at the same time, in the in the in the in the field of uh, artificial intelligence, uh, of course, you know, gamification and games are very important topic that we should explore more. So these are some like some of the previous games that while that will be presented more deeply uh, by Sarvin and Seper. Uh, so together with the same team, with you know, with uh, several different uh, people, we have been working on the topic of uh, Caravan Sarai. So if you are mostly, I mean, if you are not wrong from your time zone, you are mostly, you know, uh, in the located in the Asia. I'm sure you are familiar with this building type, Caravan Sarai. But if not still, you know, you will be hearing a lot of this, uh, you know, a lot about this Caravan Sarai word. But in short, these are the buildings that are along the Silk Roads. Silk Roads means uh, for thousands, uh, like for hundreds of years or almost like thousand years, uh, Silk Roads has been, uh, have been connecting east to west, means Asia, Turkey, Europe, uh, and along these roads, just to ensure the trades, uh, the trade roads, we have been, uh, we, there, there has been the building type caravansarai. So what is caravansarai? Actually, caravansarai is basically the translation of the world, like the palace of caravans. But also these are the roadside inns where, especially in the part of Turkey during the period that we are working on, is for free to ensure the trade roads, to like where you can go there, you can stay for three nights, you can uh, ensure your, you know, your goods that you are carrying, but also you interact with different cultures. So, so the, build, the building time Caravansarai uh, will be the main topic, the main kind of architectural um, heritage uh, along these roads that we will be working on. And so far, 
we ha we made some games in the in the past uh, our idea was to like connect uh, like how i mean not connect only i mean so we like these are some different top like different games on turkey or in uh, in iran because like sarvin and separ are from uh, iran uh, and we've been trying to understand how we can teach the young people uh, you know the heritage so that was the first example then we switched to turkey so again we were exploring different ways to connect uh, and pass this information through different uh, technologies. So each time either we were we have been using some text-based games, sometimes we've been using more immersive games, like in this example, the last game that we designed uh, through some 360 images. But as said, you know, these slides will be later further presented uh, in Sar by Sarvin and Separ. But like the very recent game that we are working on uh, at MIT at digital uh, like in this at design heritage uh, lab uh, is the is again about the caravanserais but this time we are not trying to teach the gamers but rather we are trying to learn from the gamers so it's the other way around uh, through all those data that has been already published in the you know, in the books, in the internet, through websites, you know, all the resources. We compiled like a large amount of data uh, through the caravanserais in Turkey. Uh, like the large amounts means uh, almost, uh, we are talking about 300 caravanserais uh, in Turkey, means reading uh, sometimes hundreds of books, trying to locate them, trying to understand and compare the data to each other. And we ended up having uh, more like a geo geolocation database on these caravanserais. Then uh, we were inspired of some board games that maybe you are familiar with some of these. Uh, at least the first one, like maybe you remember is like Ticket to Ride. Uh, so it's a, like a board game uh, de um, designed to, you know, build the, uh, the longest road. Like that's not that's totally the opposite of what we are trying to do. But you know, uh, a game on this. Uh, and another one is Risk. You know, another geolocation based or geo map based uh, game, or a very popular game Catan. Uh, or a bit like less popular, but it's still a digital game. And that was our inspiration as well, Stick Mergy. So inspired from these board games, we designed a game where uh, we, we combined uh, the information from the Caravanserai data, uh, the, you know, the topography, and also we abstracted all of these in a board uh, using some game elements like chance cards, trade cards, and some chance elements. And we let, unfortunately, this is still a board game. It's not in digital environment, but we've been playing this game uh, at MIT uh, lab, like Design Heritage Lab, for uh, some groups so that we understand what kind of decision making process the, our students, you know, or the gamers are making. So. This is more or less the game that you will be seeing during this workshop. And uh, in this board game, uh, students were free to, you know, like uh, use the sport and each time find their way in between these caravanserais that are already abstracted, as you can see in these hexagons. So the game is here. If you happen to come to Boston, uh, you know, you are more than welcome to, you know, to play the game. So, so far, 24 participants play the game and we've been tracking, you know, their movements uh, and we've been tracking not only their pins on where, how they move on the board, but also we've been tracking their behaviors so that we can understand how they decide in this environment. So this is like a bit slightly off the topic of the workshop, but also it's really, you know, at the center of the workshop at the same time, uh, because this game uh, is done and designed for scientific purposes. But as we all know, 
uh, and of course it has some game elements, some fun elements, but during this workshop, we will be slightly working in different topics because we will try to augment this game. Means that like you see here, for example, the path of the gamers, how they decided, how they tried to make the shortest way. And we've been like trying to understand how the historical information overlaps, like you see on the right-hand side, uh, oops, sorry, like at the bottom. So you, you see some caravansarized, you see the existing roads, and then you see the comparison, how these things overlap with the paths, with the decision-making of these gamers. Uh, so that was our more or less the methodology, you know, so what we, we did is like the literature survey, then we digitize all this information, we compile into a database, we use the GIS to make the abstractions, and we ended up having a, a game design and using some game elements, the abstraction, the pins, the chance elements, some cards, the money cards that are actually designed by Hilal, that we will be having a workshop with her on Thursday. And we've been recording all these uh, movements and we've been analyzing their behaviors. But, but so what, why we are here is that we are, we are trying to make this game using some augmented reality elements. Like for example, in this example, you know, uh, it's as simple, as immersive, as engage, engaging as this board game, but we will be having, we will be producing some 3D models through photogrammetry, through like some modeling tools. We will be creating some avatars in 3D and we will be making our uh, quite original board game uh, and scientific project and we will turn it into an augmented reality game. So of course our inspiration has been, uh, you know, uh, this project at MIT um, Computation Group as part of this uh, architecture, MIT architecture. Uh, so uh, this is a project by Takeiko that are that is presented some years ago in a conference. So it's like it's about again turning a two D environment into a three three D environment means so you have you know it can be as simple as a board or some cardboard then you know and through your phone you can turn this environment into 3D actually we will be using exactly the same platform uh, MIT design heritage platform uh, in order to make our game in 3D uh, but the models will be designed with you like with you and also together with Sarvin and Separ, we will be implementing uh, everything all the work into this platform. Uh, but of course, we have some limitations with technology. We will use some other 3D augmented reality platforms as well that you will see further. Uh, so it's, you know, at the end, I hope we will have project something like that. So, uh, you know, every, I pass this. So every workshop and every project is kind of a learning environment for both sides. Means that, I mean, we will try our best to pass our past experiences uh, to you. But of course, we are so open to hear from you so that, you know, if you have any suggestions, you know, any addition to what we are explaining or any other tools, we are more than, you are more than welcome to, uh, you know, tell us these. Uh, but still, you know, in a very short glance, uh, this is the timetable of the next five days. So today will be more research. Uh, tomorrow it will be the photogrammetry. Like Wednesday will be about the 3D modeling. Uh, Thursday will be about the avatar design, the character design. And the last day is the implementation of augmented reality. And we will be using as AR tools like the MIT website and some other tools that at the end we will have a board game in 3D. That's me. 
uh, if you want to email me, I'm on Discord as well if you have any questions. But uh, just, you know, last but last not the least, we were so happy to have a lot of awards, papers, and grants so far. Uh, so uh, feel free to, you know, add on LinkedIn, on social media, like follow us on um, ResearchGate Academia. But if you cannot reach any of the resources that I provided here, please do not hesitate to ask us any questions. We are happy to share this information with you. Okay, exactly 30 minutes as I promised Sarvin and Sepa. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor. <clears throat> so, shall yeah. we continue? Yeah, you can. I mean, I was like, if you are not yet crowded, maybe our, you know, our participants can share a word with us, you know, about themselves. Sure. Okay. So who wants to start? You can raise hands, maybe. Let's start. Okay. If we are mispronouncing your names, let us know. Ashrakat Khaled. Maybe Hello. Yeah. Hello. Uh, uh, this is me, Ashraf Khaled. Uh, I'm an uh, uh, architecture graduate. Uh, I currently work as a teacher assistant in Egypt uh, in MSA. And I was uh, interested in the workshop. Like, I guess it's going to merge between the board game and architecture. So uh, I'm super excited for the experience okay perfect nice meeting you okay you. uh austin lu mm, maybe he or she is not here okay uh separate and sarvin i leave to you i think Okay, if anyone don't want to have a talk, we can continue the workshop. No, 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 no. I was saying like, I'd like to read the next, like, can Yeah. Okay, if you are really terrible in reading your name, that's why people call me G, you know, it's easy, the first letter. Uh, Changing Changin. Ro. Yeah, Ro. Changing Ro. We don't have a voice. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, do a self I'm a postgraduate student, come from Cardiff University, and I'm really happy to join this workshop with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. And the other one is uh, actually changing. The, the names are changing. Gong Zhang. I think Jorhi also from China. Okay, not here maybe. Hong Wan Su. Hi. Uh, Hi. No. I'm uh, currently enrolled in MR2 program in SIRE. So it's. 4.30 a.m. in the L.A. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you for joining us in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have a hard time there. Uh, so the other one is Jia Shu. Are you here, Jia? Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm hi. Joshua from the University of Sydney and I'm currently doing the design of architecture but interested in interaction design as well. Um, so happy to see you, see you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, also, Mustafa Khaled. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm a from uh, Faculty of Engineering at University, Department of uh, Urban Design. 
uh, actually I am a teaching uh, assistant uh, in my department. I uh, was really interested in photogrammetry and laser scanning uh, and gamification as well, so I'm really happy to be here with you all the time. Okay, thank you so much. Nice to meet you too. Uh, Gongjiang, uh, do you have any question? Oh, no, no. Uh, I, I just uh, want to have a brief introduction to myself. Uh -huh. uh, I didn't yeah. catch up with you. Great. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, sure. You can call me Gong. Uh, my, uh, I'm major in architecture and I come from uh, Shanghai and uh, in Tongji University. And my uh, actually, I my research uh, interest uh, lies in the uh, intersection between the uh, heritage and the digital technology, especially uh, the uh, AR VR technology. And uh, uh, to be honest, my background is mainly in architectural design. But uh, I went to the uh, Europe in uh, Venice, Europe for an exchange program, and I got to learn some. Uh, something about the the heritage in industrial heritage, and then uh, I started to do some related research, and after that I uh, also uh, did some uh, research in Tongji about the uh, computation and uh, digital, and I just want to combine them, and it's uh, glad to be here and and meet you. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Nice Where to meet you. Too. Nice to meet you too. Mm, Mudra Masurekar. Yeah. Yes, it's Mudra. Hello, everyone. I'm Mudra. Uh, I'm from India. I'm an architect. And I'm particularly working in conservation uh, in terms of structures that require computational analysis and machine learning. And I, I'm wishing to pursue master's in computation design soon in the coming year. So, And it's lovely to be here. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank Very you. nice to meet you. Yeah. The next one is Mutiara Sinita. Sininta. Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Hello, my name is Oti. Oh, you can call me Mutiara. I'm from Indonesia. I think I'm the only one from Indonesia here, I think. <laughs> and uh, I'm a junior lecturer at uh, Universitas Atmajaya Yogyakarta, is in Yogyakarta, one of the uh, cultural city in Indonesia. Uh, and I also glad to see that here, here uh, there's a University of Sydney graduate here as well, I, because I studied in uh, at UCF in 2019. And I also have interest uh, results. Uh, I have an in, a research interest in uh, digital heritage. So I'm looking forward to uh, learn more about it from you guys. Thank you. Perfect. Nice, nice to, to meet you all. Yeah, nice Thank to meet you. you too. Nice to meet you too. Ruipen Wang, the next person. We want to say hello. Hi, hi, hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm Ripon Wang. You, you can just call me Ripo. And I'm working on Fabry Union and focusing on parametric design, 3D print. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Great. Right. Sena Subasha. Yeah, she's from Turkey. Hi, yes, <laughs> I'm Sana. I'm third grade architecture student at Yildiz Technical University, and I'm excited about this workshop. Thank you for joining. You. Thanks. So the next person is Shang Fang. All right, and can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm Sheng Fang, and you can just call me uh, Danny. That's my English name. And I'm a graduate student from the University of Pennsylvania. And I'm really excited to join you. Thank you for joining. Nice to meet you. The next one is Sohel Bagari. 
Sure. Everyone. He's from mm -hmm. Iran, yeah. Yeah. I'm Sohel and I studied a uh, Master of Digital Architecture and Bachelor of Arch Architecture Engineering. And I went to study game development and media uh, in Utrecht Studio from uh, this September. Uh, I have some experience in game design and development with Unity. And I worked on some uh, VR projects too. Uh, I, I have some experience in uh, AR in Unity, but uh, it's very laggy and I couldn't uh, really optimize that for uh, our mobile phones. And I, I wanted to know that uh, if we are going to uh, play this game that we want to create in this workshop on mobiles or uh, something like uh, HoloLens or other Mixed reality headsets. Thank you. Say or okay. Actually, this game uh, is a classic 2D board uh, developed uh, at MIT University, and uh, we are using some models and 3D actual 3D models using AR, VR with the phones on the. Um, MIT's platform and some softwares, I mean, the web uh, websites, yeah. Uh, but not Unity, not the other softwares that you mentioned. And Sarvin, want to tell more? Yeah, actually, the play of the game um, is being done on a physical board. Uh, but um, here we just uh, augment it and um, see how it will be shown on the physical board uh, if we have the board itself, but we can uh, see the augmented version um, online too, uh, but we won't play it uh, here online. Yeah, um, together we are developing the whole game which developed at MIT University. But if you want an extra session, we can play the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, sure. So the next person, Tian Zihui or Zihui, maybe from China. Oh, hi. 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 Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Tian Zihui and I'm, I'm from China and now I'm studying the uh, National University of Singapore and my major is architecture and um, I'm a, you know, I'm a big fan of the architecture conservation. And I feel very lucky that can participate in this workshop um, to see all you guys. Thank you, nice to meet you too. Next person is Wei, Yu, Wei Wu, and yeah. Hi, everyone, can you hear me? Um, yeah, I'm sure. Wei, uh, I'm from Harvard GSD, and I'm just graduating in May. Um, my major is the MDATS, and I uh, my thesis is, is about like monuments and memory, and um, yeah, I'm very excited to actually visit MIT Heritage <laughs> Lab, maybe. Thank you, nice to hear from you. Okay, and uh, everyone, please make sure to fill this form because uh, we sent you by the mail to fill it, but if you didn't. Please fill it as soon as possible. And the next person is uh, Yuki Hu, I think. If I'm not wrong. Hi, um, I'm from China and I'm an architecture undergraduate from Georgia University. So I have some experience in our engine for and machine learning. And I'm well happy to attend this workshop. Good. Thank you. Nice to meet you. And the next person is, uh, let me check again. G, uh, let me check. Yes. Ah, Yus, uh, Yusra. Yeah, hello. Hello, Hi. everyone. I'm Yusra. I'm from Pakistan. I'm an and an architecture graduate and 
my I'm interested in photogrammetry and architectural technology, which is why I'm here. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Thank you. for joining us. Yeah. Sure. The next person. The list is changing. Maybe the ones uh, that are left can raise hands. Yeah, usual Chang. Hello, everyone. I'm Chang. Uh, I don't have a camera now, but I will buy one. <laughs> I'm from China Southeast University. I'm an architecture student as everyone, but I'm a game designer at the same time. I just mm -hmm. received an offer in a game company as an environment artist. So I'm so excited to join this game design. Thank you. Perfect. Great, thank you. Yeah, the last person I think is Zahra. Zahra, here. I think she's also from maybe Iran. Okay, she's not here maybe. Uh, we have some <laughs> new participants. Yeah. You should uh, know. Uh, anyone didn't type? Didn't introduce anyone? Herself? I think Eric. Uh huh. Okay. Eric, are you here? He joined recently, maybe not yet settled. Okay. Uh, maybe we can start if it's okay for you. Yeah. So let me. You know, let me have the last words, you know, before mm -hmm. you start. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so just some reminders, you know, we, we have like four hour long workshop. So we really appreciate your time, first of all. And then after this, like this introduction is over, you will be given some uh, buildings. So uh, if you have any preference of working with any of the friends that you are in the same time zone, uh, please let us know. Just the, like chat, like put in the chat box that, you know, like I'm this, you know, I'm, I want to work with this person. We will be covering 18 buildings uh, overall. And every building has a different challenge in terms of having these reconstructions of any kind. So these, these will be like the, four, the first three days. Then we will be working on some avatar design and some character design. Uh, and you can always connect these buildings into your uh, avatar design. So if you have any preference, we just want you to have fun, first of all, during this process. So let us know if you have any preference because we have more than 18 students, you know, participants now. So we need to match some people together, okay? So anyway, so that's the introduction. Another one is that, you know, today will be the most difficult part for you because you will be going some resources. We tried our best to find the best that we can, like you can find about these buildings, but today will be more about, you know, go to that building site, you know, read about it, try to understand what are the priorities in reconstructing this building and what are the challenges, what more information can you find, et cetera, et cetera. So this is gonna be more or less today and we will give you a deliverable. I mean, the nice way of saying a homework, <laughs> you know, until tomorrow and the day after tomorrow so that you can work with your teammate. So that's like the introduction. Other than that, like uh, Sarvin and Separ will be almost always present, right? Uh, so please, you know, uh, do not hesitate to ask any questions. And if you don't have any further questions, I'm going to leave the ground to Sarvin and Separ. Questions? Thank you no. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think no questions right now. Okay, Sarin, would you please share? Yeah, sure. Uh, do you have my screen? Yes, but not right. presented. 
Testament. Okay. Yeah, we have you. Okay. Again, hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome to our workshop, the board game. Uh, as Professor Guzdan mentioned, this workshop follows a classical 2D board game designed and implemented at MIT Design Heritage Lab. In this workshop, we will use uh, state-of-art technologies to augment it by adding AR features. Uh, this workshop actually aims at the Silk Road of Anatolia in the Seljuk period uh, with a comprehensive focus on its, uh, on its tangible and intangible heritage. The journey will initiate with the 3D modeling of the related caravansaries and the characters and continues uh, to, the, to be augmented on an interactive and immersive multiplayer classic board game developed through the geospatial data collected uh, during the land surveys. The specific board game chosen for this workshop is designed and implemented, as I told before, at MIT Design Computational Lab. The alpha version of this game targets the use of uh, collective intelligence of the gamers. So uh, our group includes seven tutors with a diverse spectrum of skill sets. Uh, Professor Guzdan Varnolo, Fulbright Visiting Scholar from MIT Department of Architecture, is the head of our workshop. Sarvin uh, and I are landscape architects from Istanbul Technical University. Dr. Özgün Balavan uh, from Columbia University and uh, the other ones like Noor, uh, who studies Master of History and architecture at ITU, Istanbul Technical University, I mean. Warlock is a PhD candidate of uh, architectural design computing at Istanbul Technical University. And Hilal is an architect from Izmir University of Economics. So we are happy to have such a great team for this workshop. Uh, so, okay, let's talk about the content of the workshop. In the first session, we will talk about the role of gamification in cultural heritage education, which already Professor Guzdan go through it and we will continue. Also, we will have an understanding about the flow of the next sessions. In this part, we will mention our journey on this topic and how we have re reached the current point. The focus point of our studies regarding the cultural heritage is the Silk Roads, which is highly under consideration by UNESCO. This network of trade roads was the road of merchandise and the road of culture, beliefs, and the knowledge transmission. Uh, the project uh, encompasses the caravansaries of Anatolian Seljuk, and Iranian Safavid period located on the Silk Road. Uh, the gradual process of the project ended with multiple research till now. We are involved in three CAD conferences, focusing on gamification, as Professor Guzdan talked about it before, series games. Uh, we are using the series games, all, uh, which also called educational games. Uh, serve more than pure entertainment value and deliver educational content less restrictively than the traditional educational methods. Hence, we can use uh, these kind of games to increase awareness of the heritage issue for the next generations. Our first game is the Sericumbia, uh, winning the best presentation award in Oscar 2021. Uh, taking the Iranian Safavid Caravan Sarais as its content. The game uses uh, detailed information of selected Caravan Sarais and has a nonlinear narrative engaging the player in a long journey visiting the Safavid Caravan Sarais on the Silk Road, ending to various destinations and results. Also, uh, it is the alpha version. And this is the beta version that I can mention 
about it yet. A merchant uh, trading silk between Turkey and China uh, and has to pass through Iran's various climate zones to deliver his orders to the final destination at a specific time, regardless of the road's difficulties. He seeks accommodations in the Safavid caravansarays on the Silk Road during this journey. The next one is uh, our second game, which is Anatolian Journey, won the Ivan Petrovich Prize in the EKD 2021. However, in this game, we try to lead the player to follow the given information by limiting his or her progress in the game by asking some questions about the information provided previously during the game. Unlike the previous game, uh, the player is not limited by time or health. Instead, the final score is calculated based on the duties completed and the number of points gained by answering the questions. So our last project is Han game or Han game pr uh, presented in uh, Kadria 2022, uh, which is the continuation of the Anatolian journey game. Uh, Han game is a web-based uh, game hosted on a Linux server. When the users enter the game, a 3D map opens up displaying the train and the caravansaries. The game developed in 3D Vista software using uh, 360 photos shooted by uh, Professor Guzdan in the Land of Journeys, uh, which uh, within each game, uh, users interact with puzzles and gain points when they find the objects but lose health points if they exceed the limit time. This data of the user's interaction with the puzzle scores, health points, and user information is sorted in a Firebase server. In addition, the shooted 360 videos are available in our YouTube channel to be viewed on desktop or VR boxes. So the next step uh, is about our workshop. Uh, you know, this workshop is based on our fourth game, the board game. However, still the base and raw data are the same caravansaray data. In this part of the workshop, we will split you to different groups and share the information and gather photos and videos with you through Drive, I mean, Google Drive. Then we will have a brief explanation on how to model a historic buildings. We will start by drawing the plans in AutoCAD and modeling them in any software you are familiar with. These parts uh, modeling is only simple architectural modeling. However, the complicated part modeling the arcs will be uh, thought in the next sessions by uh, Warlock. You should make your model ready till third day to add arcs and giving the materials to it. The third day is photogrammetry day. Uh, actually, separate, I think yes. I will continue from now on. Yeah. yeah, from the data scrapping. Yeah, scraping, yeah. Okay, so uh, hello everyone again, I'm Sarvin. As Professor Guzdan introduced, I graduated from ITU Landscape Architecture and I will start a historic preservation at Texas Tech University. Uh, I will continue the presentation. The third day is the photogrammetry day, one of the most interesting ones. Uh, before starting the photogrammetry part, uh, we will show you how you can gather some bulk data from the internet. We will use Python for scraping. The uh, script will uh, make some queries from Google Images and with some keywords, and uh, we will uh, gather um, some uh, bulk um, images directly to our uh, drive. Then uh, additionally, we will show you uh, the Octopus, uh, which is an extremely powerful data extraction tool. 
uh, which uh, without any coding, you can do the same job you do with the script. Uh, afterward, the photogrammetry session, uh, which aims to demonstrate the possibility of creating a 3D photogrammetry model using photographs taken for different purposes with uh, Agisoft MetaShape software. The instructor, uh, which is uh, new, will show how we can create a 3D photogrammetry model that we produce by collecting Kawansai photos from various sources. Uh, however, uh, we aim to use uh, not intended captured photos. We also will uh, talk about uh, how you uh, should capture uh, photos uh, with the aim of doing photogrammetry and uh, how to process them. Uh, at the end, we will ask you to upload your results to MDH, the MIT system, uh, which we will teach you more about it deeply at the last session. Then uh, in the third session, uh, we will, Barlick will show the ways of creating our own material textures from digital photos, photo, with using Photoshop and Crazy Bomb software. And uh, do, uh, we will um, also teach you procedural materials. Uh, an example of the procedural brick uh, material will be created in Blender. Uh, finally, uh, an example render image will be created while sharing basic knowledge of lighting and HDRI maps. Next, uh, we will move to uh, have a brief explanation in 3D modeling of caravan size in Blender. Since the uh, requirement of a workshop is expecting the participants to have a beginner knowledge of 3D mesh modeling softwares, in this part, we will have an options. Um, in this part, we have a session to introduce special issues in Caravanserai, like modeling the arts uh, and adding this. Um, actually, uh, we ask you to model your Caravanserai uh, very simply previously and make it ready till this session. And here, you will add um, the arcs and the materials to it. And then the course concepts of physically based rendering, PBR materials and fundamental texture maps will be discussed. An example material will be created in Blender. And then we will upload our models to p3d.in uh, to view them also in AR in our phones. Uh, you will do it after the end of the session as a homework. At the first day, we will have an interesting session arousing your imagination. Uh, first of all, Hilal, the instructor, will bring you to a journey to pass by introducing the intangible heritage of the mentioned era. Then uh, it will be shown by Hilal how to create a 3D character model from a single photo with headshot, the artificial intelligence supported character, uh, character creator plugin. It will be taught how to make changes on the model automatically created by artificial intelligence and adding uh, and some facial expressions and character poses uh, to animate your character. Uh, additionally, uh, we will talk about how to draw a historical 2D character. Hence, at the end of the session, we will have both 2D and 3D characters from the Sajukit period. Additionally, the fun parts, we will uh, give some um, motion to them like this. Hilal will talk more about it. And uh, finally, again, as your homework at the end of the day, you will upload your 3D models to view them in 3D and share them via QR codes uh, in the uh, Sketchfab. Sorry, uh, here is the result. And uh, at the final day, we will have a wrap up and gather everything we have and go to the final results. Uh, as we talk, MIT's design heritage platform uh, will uh, be used to provide us the chance to simply upload the model you generated and have an AR presentation of it. 
At the same time, we can add takes, make stories and add maps to our AR models. Um, sorry, uh, we will be able uh, to both use our laptops uh, to um, view the um, AR versions of our models and both via our uh, phones. Uh, it's a sample uh, again down in MIT. Uh, we hope to have such a result at the end. And lastly, uh, we will ask you to uh, give us all the original files uh, you have made to drive and uploading uh, all the models uh, to the related platforms that we talked. And uh, we will ask a representing po a poster of what you've done uh, all, uh, through all the workshop days. And thank you for now for listening to the flow of the workshop. Feel free to connect us if you want. Yeah, thank you, Sari. Thank you. For the great presentation. Okay, guys. Uh, I want to share with you uh, our uh, links, all the links. I mean, the Discord channel, Instagram channel, YouTube page, and our email if you uh, face any trouble or problem. Feel free to ask any questions with the mail or uh, also the Discord. And also, uh, let me share it, sorry. Okay, I shared right now in the chat. So also, uh, please uh, check the Excel and write your time zone, which is so important for us right now to making the groups, different groups split yeah i share it uh, we will ask you to uh, fill the form uh, uh, to be yeah. able to split you to groups uh, for starting the distribution of the data and starting uh, the workshop yeah exactly so separate could you please share the screen I think the for the Excel. Sure, Hoja. Yeah, yeah. We have still some names missing and we don't want to mess up. Sorry. It's, yeah, it's here. Yes. Okay. Is there anyone who didn't fill the data, like the form? Uh, it's. We have 23 people. Yeah, 23. Yeah. And how here. many workshop participants? That's we have 23, right? Yeah, we are 27 now. But I think we are all done. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah we are okay. all done. Um, so, Yes. Is then? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So is okay. One last question. Then we will give you fifteen minutes break while we are setting the group. So, uh, is there anyone who wants to work with someone else in the team? Like any preference? Uh, hi. I think I will work with uh, Hu Qiyue. Uh, no, Hu. Yes. <laughs> so just a second, yeah. Yes, because we know before. Oh, okay. So you want to work with? Uh, um, hi. Uh, I think it's number number nineteen. Yeah. Number nineteen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm Jia Um. Twenty four and nineteen. If you want, I can. Change the color. Yeah. Okay. Any other preference? Any other uh, preference?
Okay. Okay. So give us 15 minutes. Okay. Shall we say like we just meet uh, in, I mean, it's time, it's hard to say the time zone anyway. So for me, it's going to be 8.25. Okay. So we will be back uh, and we will be distributing your folders. Okay. 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 So. Let's see you see guys. You. See you. So. Hello, everyone, again. Yeah, hello again. Let me connect my AirPods. Yeah, do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. We have mm. someone new, Chiara. Yeah. Hajar Al Beltaji. Yeah, we are hearing you. But we didn't talk about anything because you're in breakout rooms. Uh, okay. Uh, Sebe, we have someone new. Uh, should we just uh, split it? Um. Oh, mom. Okay. Let me check. In the Excel? I, I, yeah, I can do the Excel, no worries. Just okay. Okay. go ahead. Okay. Uh, so, Sapphire, will you share uh, or shall we? Wait? Yeah, uh, before that, uh, we can actually, the new ones can introduce themselves, maybe. Is it okay for you? Yeah, we are waiting to hear. Yeah, Hajar Albeltaji. Would you please introduce yourself? Uh, hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, um, um, I, I just uh, will be quick. This is Hajar Um I'm an architect, a researcher, and teaching assistant um, in architecture department in the Arab Academy in Cairo. And my research um, in my master thesis uh, focusing uh, on uh, investigating the individual memory between digital realm and physical realm. Uh, and to do so, I have um, uh, to choose one of the heritage buildings in Cairo uh, to conduct my experiments at. Um, so within the process, I have created um, a photogrammetry uh, scanning Mm -hmm. uh, for that digital building, and then I prepared it uh, in Unity uh, uh, to, yeah, so that I can help the experimentation in the virtual uh, realm using a virtual reality headset. Uh, I have already conducted the experimentation. Um, right now, I'm within the um, analysis process and so on. Uh, and I needed to expand my knowledge more um, onto uh, game, gamification and digitization of the heritage um, in general. Therefore, I joined the workshop. That's it. Great. Great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet and, you yeah, thank you. And the other one is Jessica Goss, I think, just recently. Hi, sorry. Hi. I, I, I came a little bit delayed. Uh, can you please repeat what I have to, to say? Or? Yeah, just introduce <laughs> yourself. It's yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so I am Jessica. I, I came from Brazil and actually now I'm living in the Netherlands. And um, I have master degree in, in, sorry, I'm a little bit nervous because I, no, <laughs> I just, okay. Okay. Take your time. <laughs> because of the time, <laughs> sorry. So um, I have master degree in design. I study video games, uh, digital games. And uh, last year I did a course about 3D modeling and um, this course here, uh, seems to be really interesting. I'm really excited about it and uh, to develop myself. And um, uh, I did some games. Actually, I published one game with my husband. Yes, a mobile game. Oh. 
So yeah, yeah the, the, the game calls uh, Corina Express. It's about the pandemic. And um, so I think uh, this is it. I'm really excited about the, the workshop. So thanks. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. And just the new ones, can you please fill the Excel? In? Yeah, and introduce yourself, feel free to ask any questions. And uh, after that, we will share our document with you. If you have anything to say, any questions, or if you didn't fill the Google sheet, please fill it. Okay, Sepper, shall we start sharing? Yeah, wait a minute. Okay. okay. That's it. Okay, so I'll share my screen. Okay. It's I did done. So uh, you can go to here. Just okay. Uh, we have uh, actually different caravans in the folder. We will share with you. Don't panic. And uh, we have the Excel sheet. Uh, right now, Professor Guzan is trying to. Uh, actually split the uh, split you between the groups. Uh, these are the names of the caravansaries. Uh, we are trying to actually split you based on your time zones to work together easily. Um, team one, uh, T is for team and the name of the caravansaries are here. And we have the caravan series on the drive, we will share with you. And uh, so we will share, uh, actually, we will talk about the caravan series serving one by one right now, yeah. or want to say something more, want to add something? Uh, actually, if the teams are set, we can go to the first one and uh, both share, okay. uh, go to them. Yeah. Okay, I think. Yeah, uh, Mansi yeah. just entered. Okay, I think we can like the new the newcomers. We can just like add them to the team according to their time zone. Uh, yeah, that's okay. the first thing. Another thing, you know, I'm I'm, I'm here, so I just like want to like give a very uh, little introduction. So you might see the word Han. That's H A N. Actually, it means caravansara in Turkish, so don't get confused, okay? So like H-A-N is caravansara whenever you are searching. Uh, and the, like the folders are named accordingly. So we will be sharing with you one Google Drive and one matrix, it's called a matrix, where you are gonna see, uh, yes, like, you can see all the links, you know, that you can read. These are the initial research that we have done for you that includes uh, the basic information about this caravansaray, some basic YouTube, YouTube links that we collected from the internet. But in the folder, you will, like, you will be having some academic resources to the uh, same caravansaray. So yeah, like that, okay. So if you can't reach anything, if you do not see the screen as we are, I mean, it's just like a Google Doc problem. So we will share with your, you know, email and you will be have an access. Okay. So that's all from me. Thank but, you. Okay. okay. Let's continue with the hands or caravan sarays or the palaces in English. Okay. First of all, we can start from the Akhan caravan saray. Actually, Akhan. Yeah, it's Ak Caravans, right? Uh, so we have the, the different documents right now. Uh, the documents includes uh, different things like plans. And uh, 
we know that uh, the descriptions may even uh, maybe in Turkish or different languages, but the documents for are from for the plans. Yeah, you can uh, in any language reach their plans at least from these documents. Yeah, exactly. These kind of plans for modeling them, the structures. Yeah, uh, and in the photos folder, as we talked before in the PowerPoint, we try to scrape the different photos uh, on the internet, from the internet. We have a lot of photos of this caravansarize and the plants here. We will use this kind of photos for the modeling. Anything to add, Sarin? Uh, actually, both maybe modeling and photogrammetry. Uh, yeah. We talk more about it. And the, the other folder that I think it was Guzan, Professor Guzdan's, uh, I mean, the shootings on the land. Yeah. These are the. Yeah, 3D, yeah. Um, 3600 uh, videos. And uh, also some drone videos are gathered here and also photos. Uh, these are actually the uh, photos that we use in the uh, Han game, uh, actual game. And uh, you see the 360 photos. Uh, actually, if you want to use uh, this kind of photos, you have to open it with the softwares that uh, can open the 360 degree images, uh, because as you see, it's kind of wide and it's like you won't be able to use it for the modeling at this situation. We have a comment right now. Uh, make a group maybe but okay um, where I can comment where yeah just direct comment to me oh, okay uh, okay uh, Sarvin uh, or I can send it to Professor Dan maybe she can handle it it's a direct okay. message it's yeah that's I sent okay. you. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Okay. So uh, from now on, we can uh, just both share the links uh, with the groups and both. Uh, yeah, exactly. We can share the links and we can work together with your teammates. And uh, let me. I it. we have no change in the groups right now. Okay, so uh, Professor uh, should be just right now uh, share the links, share the I mean folders. Yeah, you can share. Yes, you can share all folders with everyone in case there will be any changes. Sure. And you can chat, like you can put the folders into the chat box as well. Okay. So yeah, let too. me see just a quick change. Tian and Gong. I think we have to share this way, right, Simon? Yeah. Let's how? This way. That's the final decision. So after. Okay. Is it possible after to... the last. Yeah, after the sure. last next minutes, you know, you cannot change. You can, By the way, uh, try to, you know, try to like, you no, know, not, I mean, you, you feel free to add any information to your folders, okay? Uh, but try not to delete the others. We okay. have a backup, but still, you know, we don't want to mess up the things. And one more thing that I want to share while we are doing the sharing, if you don't mind, can I take the screen? Yeah, sure. 
Yeah, okay, just a second. That's gonna be the most hectic. Can you see my screen? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so first of all, uh, we are gonna add your team member, team names here as well. Uh, so you can, I, so as you can see, whenever let's say that I'm going, I'm working on Injirhan, okay? Uh, and you can always click and see the website that is designed and implemented. So this is like the information that you can get about each caravansaray. Uh, she's very good actually. She's, uh, she's been working on this project for some time. And you, as you can see, the basic information to have an idea about this heritage building, it's there, it's in the first column. So we will share this G, uh, G drive with you. So like, uh, so that's the city name usually, that's like the district, if you are curious about it. You see the basic photographs so that you can differentiate the building from the other ones. So as like, as you see, that's like, for example, this one was in Jirhan. You remember I mentioned that Han is usually, uh, it refers to the caravansaray. So, you will, you will see the main links in the first column, okay? And you will see the second links in the visuals and you will see the name of the property in the third one. But sometimes you might end up finding, you, you might need, need some more keywords and some of the caravansarais, they have an alternative name. Like for example, Injirhan might be called as Bujak, Kirkgözhan may be just like called as Chubukhan, you know, all of these things. You can ignore the Turkish letters. Uh, so instead of like, like this, you know, I, Turkish I, Turkish O, Turkish C, or Turkish S, and another Turkish I here, you know, you can ignore and you can always like type with the English version of this letter. So do not really worry about that. Uh, I think we did our research, you know, are the best that we could do. But if you end up anything, finding anything, please do not hesitate to, you know, share in this folder. Uh, so if you go to here, you are gonna see the same things. So if more information is needed, please do not forget to, you know, text us. So we might have omitted, I made like a last minute changes. I omitted this one. Uh, so other than that, we have 17 caravansarais. So once the groups are set, that's going to be it because you will be kind of be familiar with the building that you will be working on. So it's very crucial that, you know, you match with anyone in your time zone so that you can, you know, work together. But, uh, and of course, after the workshop hours, just we expect you to get together with your team member. Maybe, you know, now it's time to like chat to each other, your emails and everything so that you can set up a time, a working time together, right? Any questions so far? Also, I shared the drive link at the chat. Yeah. Everyone can join and edit and add some more data. Yeah. Any questions? If not, we will just start the, you know, the workshop now. Uh, I, I actually have a question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not clear to me uh, what we are supposed to do with this information. And um, uh, after we're separated into groups, uh, I know I have missed the first portion of, um, of the workshop, but I actually am confused. Um, I, I, I just tried to, uh, can you, to concentrate while you're explaining, but it's still not clear to me what we're yeah. supposed to do with okay. these data. We can share the presentation with you, okay? Uh, you know, like no sure. worries. Uh, and maybe we can, like we can like share the, can you, to, to her email, maybe, sorry, yeah. and, separate. and then I, I answer your question. So day one, like today is to, uh, get together with your teammates uh, and 
try to understand the building that you are given. So the first day is research. Tomorrow, uh, so you have to get familiar with your building, do some internet research, read the resources. We provided the best that we can find so far. But uh, you can always search online, try to understand your building. So you are assigned to a building. So that's today. You know, get together, find your, find your teammates and familiarize, familiarize with your building. Okay? That's today. Tomorrow, you will be doing photo modeling. Uh, and on Wednesday, until Wednesday, you are supposed to make like a blank model, a solid model of your building in any software that you are familiar with, like AutoCAD, Blender, 3D Max, whatever, okay? So you need to have your model ready until Wednesday. On Wednesday, we will be, turking, we will be talking and working on texturing your building to give the appropriate texture to your heritage building. And Thursday, you will be designing some avatars. And the last day will be the, you know, the integration of the AR into MIT system. Okay. okay. So today is just, you know, understanding your building. That's why today is crucial that you get together with your team member and understand your building that you are assigned to. And also I'm uploading the PDF file that you presented. Okay. You can reach. Thank you. Everyone can reach from the bar. Yeah. yeah. Anyone who is having trouble to reach the G drive? It seems perfect. If it's quiet, you never know whether it's good or not, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We assume that the answer is yes. Okay, go ahead. I'm being silent again. Uh, okay. okay. So, uh, okay. you have all the files in the drive and uh, also you have the uh, program X participants list. So already you know your uh, caravan size. But we can um, once more go through them, uh, maybe one by one, and uh, you can know your teammates. Yeah, exactly. Uh, maybe Sefer, you can uh, share or open the folder and I will uh, read from the Excel. Now, you mean the, the names or metrics? Uh, yeah, no, the names. Okay. You can share the actually the caravan size, open the folder, their folders one by one. For example, for now, uh, as uh, we uh, reviewed Akhan, uh, you can see in the list that Sui Wu, Sheng Feng, and Yui Chen are uh, yeah. all together that will work. Um, for Akhan, you can mm -hmm. really use this code to um together, work together, be in contact. And uh, so um, we uh, will uh, require, uh, ask you to download the uh, data or maybe you just download the ones you need. Uh, so after just um, distributing, uh, we will uh, show how to use these data to um, make your model. So we will need uh, some plans, some dimensions, and some photos for just simply uh, making uh, our model to make it ready for the for our uh, search session. Uh, so uh, after Akon, uh, we have in um, I'm just going with the names, not with the uh, I mean with the caravansara so we have okay. group 13 kuzularan uh hong su will work uh alone on it because the time zone is different and uh then uh we have um chardak that's uh shankin run will work with it 
Seper, uh, do you just share the, I mean, open the folders one by one? Yeah, I'm actually sharing the screen. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. You are on target. Then we have a, a dokuzun, a, which uh, Nada Saleh and Jessica will work on. Uh, Eirdir, um, Anna and uh, Vasuta will work together. And um, it's here. then we have uh, Eli Kesik that uh, Mustafa and uh, Ashrat were will work together. Uh, then Susuzhan we have which Hajar will work lonely on it. Uh, Ertukuş. Uh, lonely. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Professor Guzan just uh, splitted them based on both time zones and the difficulty of the cameras, right? But uh, feel free to ask any help uh, if you need. Okay. Uh, then uh, we have uh, Kaza, uh, pardon, Zazadin. Zazadin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, with Zahra, will work lonely on it. We have Evdirhan, uh, Sadaf, and Sohail will work together. Uh, Anif, uh, Yusra, Ayas, Injir, uh, Mudra, and Kargu, Mutiara, uh, all lonely will work. And we have Kirk uh, Repank, and Alara Han, which is a very big one, uh, three. Uh, people, Jia, Yueki, and Yuju will work together. Sorry for my pronunciations. And uh, the next one, uh, Saipata, uh, Austin, and uh, Leslie Sharp, Sahan, Tian, and Gong will work together. Yeah, uh, in the least, some of them uh, doesn't have uh, a Dihan name for example sarapsa uh, it's uh, it's writing sarapsa okay uh, you can easily find here but some of them uh, in the list doesn't have any han some of them has it's okay for us just uh search the name it will appear in the list i mean the drive or the list if you have any if you face any problem in accessing the data, in accessing the PDFs or in the folders, please tell us. Uh, yeah, I'm checking the, okay. Everything is okay right now. So. <clears throat> so shall I share my screen? Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay, just a minute. Sorry. Okay. Uh, as an example, uh, I will show you uh, how we will go through the issue. So um, after just uh, knowing the road, uh, you will continue for yourself at uh, your own caravan rise. And first of all, uh, we choose Kirk Uzhan uh, as a sample. Uh, uh, then um, actually there is, uh, if you um, just um, look to the drive, there are some different uh, PDFs, different photos of it. And uh, you can use all of them to have a conception of the caravanserai. And uh, today, as Guzan, Professor Guzan said, is our research day. So we want you to, uh, after the workshop, just go and search the web and uh, just um, search the drive uh, to find whatever you can use to know your caravanserai better maybe different data uh, and um, I mean 
the spatial data, the data about its uh, building, or maybe some cultural data. Uh, so, uh, as you see here, we have the plan, uh, we have uh, different uh, side views of it, and some photos. Uh, actually, it's a very easy process that uh, for the first step we want from you, uh, you will just um, add a map of uh, your caravan size to AutoCAD. I'm sure all of you know the process, uh, but um, you will uh, draw on it uh, to have its plan. Uh, and, um, you know, you should join the lines uh, to have at the final point to have a um, connected uh, to have connected lines for uh, easily uh, making its model. And sorry. okay. Uh, so uh, actually, the um, things that we are uh, we want to talk now is not uh, the drawing part. I'm sure you know it. But you will uh, face some questions in this part when you are trying your own caravanserais. For example, because the caravanserais are, uh, some of them are destroyed, some of them are rest uh, restored. There are different data of them. Uh, for example, uh, you can find a map uh, that uh, shows it's um, not destroyed uh, condition but uh, the photos are destroyed and you don't know how to um, draw it. And uh, maybe you can see like here, the, uh, there is a distortion um, in the plan or maybe in some plans the uh, walls are not in the same thickness. Uh, but uh, we want to clear something here. Uh, we know that uh, history, culture, preservation, or some restoration projects are very, um, I mean, uh, very uh, sensitive issues. But here in this workshop or in this um, project, our aim is not to just very precisely uh, model a, a historic uh, building. Uh, we just want to use the uh, maybe easiest ways, uh, uh, the most convenient ones, to just augment uh, and have a very fast and simple uh, presentation of our caravanserais and characters. So we will go easy through them and uh, just, uh, I mean, uh, when you see some uh, uneven walls or some um, uh, parallel lines, you can took them as the parallel or the same, or maybe you can just mirror your plan uh, to have a very uh, straightforward plan of your caravans, right? And then uh, you can just simply um, press pull or model it in the AutoCAD or any other uh, software that you are familiar for your 3D modelings. And uh, because we want to have our models ready uh, to use them in a blender for the arcs parts and making the arcs. And uh, because, let me show you the PDF. For example, uh, Modeling these, uh, you may be familiar with uh, modeling in, in any program with uh, architectural modeling, very simple ones, but you may have troubles in modeling these arcs and uh, other parts related to historic modeling. Uh, so we will make uh, our models ready as your homework for the third day that Warlock will uh, teach you the um, modeling the arcs and adding the uh, procedural materials and other uh, techniques of adding materials for our caravan size to not uh, have some rhythmic, uh, I mean, materials while rendering 
and uh, or uh, to use um, actually the photos of, uh, for example, uh, these parts of the caravansary, which, which maybe is hard to model or very time consuming and use them to uh, have a, a presentation of our caravansary simply. So uh, the thing we will go through is very easy right now. Uh, maybe here I should ask uh, Professor Yuzan how we uh, continue, for example, continue just doing together or have a time break. Yes, Sarvan, actually I was texting uh, to, you know, to everyone. Uh, we, we might have like, missing a few participants for the time zone mm -hmm. please do so so far the emails i think we have 26 already assigned one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten not assigned yet but if you add your time zone we will match you with anyone there okay yeah that's it okay so uh I think we can give them like, you know, like 10 minutes, like, mm -hmm. and like, or 15, let's say 9.15, exactly 13 minutes. Yeah, then sure. Sarvin, uh, maybe you can just like show how your strategy is to model or have the plan. So shall we have like 15 minutes so that you can team up with your teammates, start exploring the building. I already typed, but you know, this stage is a bit, you know, might seem a bit confusing, but, but don't get lost. So we just gave you the buildings and we want you to familiarize, familiarize with your building. Okay, try to you know, understand what's there in this heritage building. And then we will meet in now 12 minutes. Okay? Okay. Okay. So see you then. See you. Okay. So so we're back. Is everyone here? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you can start serving, and after that, I will uh, tell them about the software. Okay, so uh, right now we want to ask you to have a uh, one hour by yourself and your group mates to uh, do uh, the that uh, I mean uh, plan uh, drawing and modeling part. And uh, we will be here, and um, we will. You will be uh, free to ask any questions, any struggles you face. And uh, after one hour, we will meet to um, gather the modeled caravanserais, and maybe we can uh, share uh, the struggles that we faced um, in each of our caravanserais with others, and share our experiences. So uh, this, uh, I mean, this session is a bit um, uh, getting ready for the next sessions, actually. So um, um, it's like this. Apparently. Yeah. And actually, I will start a timer right now. It will appear here beside my, yeah, beside my head. Uh, it's like 69. Uh, minutes after nine minutes we will start you will start to work together uh, also i can say you can work in the discord let me share my screen yeah you can uh, actually uh open different channels uh, in the discord if you face any trouble in uh, opening new channels uh, i mean the voice channels or text channels uh, please tell us to handle the problem uh, you can uh, create yeah, the channels and talk about uh, the different situation of the different caravanserais. And also you can use the software named POP. Yeah, uh, you can uh, share your screen, work together. It is easy. 
it's like Zoom, but easier and faster than Zoom. I will uh, share the link in the chat. Yes, I did. And in the Discord, you can freely uh, create channels named in your cameras, right? To yeah. uh, work with your teammates. And, and then uh, you can use also this pop. And we will be there in Discord and in Zoom to answer your questions, the troubles you face. Yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. And we have the timer here. So, uh, do you have any questions or any problem? You can reach all the links from the chat or the Discord. We posted the links. Again, for uh, review, you can find your teammate. Uh, you can find your teammate from this list based on the team one, for example, Akan, and find your Caravansarai uh, from the folder, for example, Akan. Here, all the data is already here. And after that, you can talk with your friend, with your uh, teammate, and uh, it's easy to search. Actually, we gathered all the data about different Caravansarais. If you have any other uh, information, any other valuable PDF or any other picture that is valuable or uh, the YouTube video, you can add in the list here for the YouTube videos, maybe with a different uh, color or add any PDFs or any photos here. In this, uh, uh, in the photos uh, folders. So, anything to add, Sarvin? Mm, no, uh, nothing. But if anyone have any question, yeah. Anything, uh, Guzan, Professor Guzan, anything to add? No, I don't actually. Uh, so we meet in an hour with yeah. the results and the questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. So see you everyone uh, in after sixty six minutes. Bye. Uh, just I think there are some uh, questions. Okay, so uh, just to make sure okay. those who were I together are the question. people who are assigned in the same group yes that's correct otherwise you work alone that's like that's correct yes uh that's mutiara asked that question and okay hajar asked like can you share discord link again yeah sure i uh, okay. share it and someone asked question by voice yeah, it was me. Hi. Um, Hi. I wanted to ask, uh, so, so for the next hour, uh, we need to take the PDF and carry the drawings, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Understand the That's building. It? Yes. Understand the yeah. building, draw the plan, uh, trying mm -hmm. to make it 3D if you are facing any problems. Each case would be different. Yes. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anna ask, you know, like provided, like the, Anna, do you, like, are you, you were the late comer. Any questions, Anna? Uh, no, uh, yes, actually, I don't understand what to do right now. And I couldn't find the link to Google Drive, but uh, okay. somebody we from the group was sending it. I just feel okay. like I, I need some, some information because where is this link to Google Drive? Uh, is this published somewhere or? Yeah, yes, we can share it again here. We can share. Super. Yeah, sure. I'm. I, I'm. I'm sharing the drives link. <clears throat> and was there some instructions how to work or with? <laughs> I don't know. 
Sorry, yeah, yeah. Sorry. okay so uh anna you are you are assigned to the folder airdir mm -hmm. uh means a gear there actually mm -hmm. like your building is this okay yes. so when you go to google google doc mm -hmm. uh try to understand the building okay so there are two ways to find uh okay let me share my screen it's gonna be easier mm, sorry Share screen. No, that's fine. I mean, it's good that you ask questions anyway. So, so what we did is that like, like the ones who fill their time zones actually, and you are here, Anna. So you're you are assigned to the building Airder. You might choose to work with Vasuda Karni. That you know you are in the same list. Uh, so you will be paired up with uh, Vasuda. Anna, okay. So, and then you go to Airder. So that's all the information that we collected for you. Some of the photographs that you can see, uh, you know, here. Uh, we just kept the names as they are. And there are some information about the building. Okay. It's taking a bit of time. But also, Uh, you will go to this link and you will go to Airdir. Let's say Control F, Airdir, Airdir. So that's you. So you can find some information about this building. Did I type wrong? Sorry, I was in the wrong building. Airdir Han. And you click here and you go to that building. So all the information that you want about this building as an initial research study is there. The plan is there. You know, if you wanna do more research, you know, there's like a bibliography. I know we know that we cannot cover all of these, but still, you know, some information. And then we happen to find some video about the same building. You can go and, you know, check these videos. So, and if you want, like, if you have more information, you know, you can always search online to understand your building. So that's like how we, you know, we are going to proceed. As you can see, you know, in all these, you know, on in this folder, you're going to go to your building, Erdir, okay? And you go. You can go to this matrix to find the links. Is hey. it clear, uh, Professor Gerson? Uh, someone else asked the question in the chat. Maybe we can continue in the same route with this example. I already had the plan of my project, but the height of the building would guess ourselves less. Yes, that's a very good question that we were yeah. expecting, actually. So we are going to have an estimate. First of all, we, it's a challenge. Please try to find it online. You know, every building has different challenges. So I think what you can do, you, as you have the plan, you can, from the photographs or from other information, you can estimate the height of it. So it's going to be an estimation and we are totally aware of it. Some buildings have like 3D reconstruction as like, you know, I would say restitution data. Some of them don't have it. So it's going to be an estimate depending on uh, your model. So what I would suggest you, Rupen, uh, Rui Pen, sorry, Rui Pen Wang is to, you know, try to make it uh, several versions of it you know, with different heights. So then, so that we can pick, you know, one that will fit more to your building. Uh, while modeling, we forget to say that we will, so if you see an arc, you know, you don't need to worry about the arc. You know, the basic 3D solid modeling is enough for us because we will be working further with these, uh, you know, different geometries later. So try to make it as, uh, close to as what you see in the photographs possible in 3D and that's it, okay? So let me see what Rupan's building is. Rupan Wang. 
Uh, I just want to add something else, the professor. Uh, for example, for the estimation parts, uh, you may have the dimensions of the plan, and you also have some side photos or a side view um, sections, something like that. You can align them to estimate a scale of it and uh, estimate its height based on it. Ruben Wang, by the way, you have the, like in one of the PDFs, you have the height. That's script yeah, girls, exactly. right? You are one of the lucky ones who has even the three dimensional, uh, you know, axonometric view of the building. So if you check one of the PDFs, actually there are two PDFs, you know, you're gonna <laughs> see that like one building has it, like the, the, the file name is called for you. That PDF, it's in the drive. Yeah. Okay. Any if there are any questions, yeah, please do not hesitate to like ask us questions. And as we are in different time zones, you can always use Discord to ask us and we will answer it. I mean, Mudra, it's a good question. Actually, the 3D model is due Wednesday, uh, yeah. but for today, we want you to start, you know, uh, like making the 3D model is a way to understand the mod, like the building. So we strongly encourage you to start working today, but the submission is Wednesday. Okay. Any more questions? Okay, we meet in 50 minutes, okay? Okay. Okay, guys. We are here if you have any questions. Yeah. See you. See you. Okay, so. Hello, everyone again. Hello again. So about the comments. Uh, there are some marine things in typing, maybe some missing points, but okay, yeah. let, me, let me paste it again. Yeah, I think it's Maybe you can share your screen and show the PDF. Okay, yeah. Uh, let me make you co-host. Okay. So where is the text? Uh, I, I think you're mute. 
Hello. Yeah. Ha, sorry. Yeah. So I think it's like I think the crucial bit starts from here. Okay. And I think around. I mean, I see the dimension here, but I'm not able to understand when I see the height. It says something okay. about height, but. So I'm I... checking the folder, and Kojam, would you please help? Yeah, yeah I was on mute. I was talking. Okay. Uh, so, what's well, so the? It's actually that's a very good point. That's how we dig information. Uh, is usually in most of the caravansarais or hunts, you have a very monumental entrance door that is called mm -hmm. like as you can see here is like Tach Kapu T A C, and Kapu is door T A P I. So like the dimensions that's given here is about the dimensions of the door. Uh, so it's 8.75 meters to 10.8 meters is the dimension of the door, the main okay. door. That gives you an idea about the overall height of the original building. And most probably you can assume that the elevation of the building would be anything about 12 meters. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, thank you. Perfect, yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks for your question. We have another question. Okay, yeah, the question is like, the plan for Aintoha looks symmetric, but when I started to map it out, things weren't aligning. Is it okay if I zoom and align them or should give it the way it can be transitional? Uh, I think, dear professor, we uh, said that the first that we will keep it uh, aligned and straight, right? Yes. So due to these like years of uh, you know environmental conditions, earthquakes, or you know like all the uh, decay that th these buildings went through, they might have changed. So the drawings that you see, they are mostly survey data means that whatever it represents, how it is uh, measured and represented today. So you can assume that you can like these ones are can be aligned and you can like make it assume that these are symmetrical. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. By the way, you can download some photographs. You can like have your own folder in your computer but feel free to add anything to your, you know, to the assigned folder as well. That's good. That's good. Yes, Mustafa. Uh, hello, Professor. Um, yeah. uh, so we are working uh, on uh, L, uh, sec I think. Yes. Uh, we have actually two plants um, that have, uh, uh, tiny variations uh, yeah. regarding the inner uh, beams. For example, uh, one plan has the, the width, each beam have a, a width of about one meter and the other is much smaller. And uh, another uh, other thing regarding the ceiling, um, one plan is a pointed arch and the other one it's circular or, or about round. Okay. So, um, do you want to share the screen? Maybe it's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah. So, here is an example. Uh, the plan on the left uh, has a scale bar. So, uh, I use it to uh, deploy the scale of this, the illustration of the plan. Uh -huh. Um, and the one on the right does not have any scale, but as you can see, when I, when I align the two plans to have the, uh, the exact uh, outer dimensions, the beams here are much wider than here. And uh, again, the code. Um, and the last thing is the seating. You can see here the cross section is circular, and here it's a more about point to push. Uh, okay. so we are not sure which one to follow. Yeah, that's, that's uh, we, okay. We, we tried uh, uh, referring back to the images uh, in order to uh, verify which one is the uh, 
actual one, but uh, they are not uh, showing a lot. Um, I can also share the uh, the images here. Uh -huh. These ones are showing the uh, the rooms. I think at the right here. Yeah. There are no remaining themes, or even the the ceiling is uh, is not uh, uh, showing the exact cross section. Uh -huh. Okay, so let me. Can you go back to the drawing? Yes, sure. Okay. Yeah, the one on the right uh, is drawn by the archaeologist Erdmann. Uh, and like he, he he's a, a German archaeologist, and like in most of the drawings, you are gonna end up seeing his name. And he did very careful restoration, not so restoration, survey drawings actually. So you can take the like the right one as uh, the correct one. Okay? okay. And as the building went through another recon like reconstruction process, and that might not be really uh successful that's why actually we are doing this digital representation as well that's kind of a critique usually sometimes in most of the you know uh, cultural institutions the restitution work might not really good be a good one so it's almost like destroying the whole spirit of the building so i would say that's a critique that's why we are doing this digital heritage uh thing so uh i think the the, the one on the left might refer to a very rough almost like a concept drawing of the reconstruction mm -hmm. process so please ignore that like the one on the right uh from Erdman, uh that's the one that you should consider okay okay that's, a, that's another challenging building thanks thanks most of all yeah. uh sorry professor i just checked the photos i think um it was totally real and, uh, and now it's uh, constructed again very neatly so yeah. maybe it's the plans can be about the difference of these two for example the right one the, can be the new one with the very um, more bigger um, columns yeah and also uh you know like uh, that's another kind of challenge of historical research uh, the one that you like uh the one on the left is uh, almost like not that reliable publication because it's rough, roughly drawn on the left. It's the drawing uh, that he provided for this Han is uh, by, uh, you know, like someone who is not an architect. Uh, Ahmed Chaija is his last name actually. So obviously he was not really aware of the structural system of this building. So he just draw the one on the left-hand side. Maybe, you know, it was good enough for him, but refer to the one on the right-hand side that is drawn by the archeologist, okay? So that's a very good one, good question. Sarvin, you are totally correct. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the buildings might have gone through a reconstruct reconstruction process. Mm -hmm. uh, that's sometimes unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Shad. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Mustafa. Mutira, is there any particular file and extension for 3D? Yeah, th that's why we didn't really you know, limit yourself. We are all architects and we, we are familiar with any of the three dimensional programs. Anything works, Rhino. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was just writing uh, the rest, uh, dear professor. For this step, anything works. Uh, but in the next, uh, in the third session that we will do the curves and uh, the, um, I mean, the materials, uh, we want uh, the mesh-based uh, applications. So I think in that step, we won't be able to use Rhino because uh, the um, thing modeled in Rhino will be not able to be um, get that materials procedural materials that we want because of the meshes but uh, you can do this and we will continue it in other mesh based um programs yeah 
model in whatever software that you want we will export them okay keep the original drawings until yeah keep the files the files can i ask a question about the plan yes sure Anna. The building, i will uh, i can't share the screen now. I think, uh, yes, I think we gave you yes. the permission. Yes, Anna. Okay. So this, which which one is it? So Eger Eger right? Erdirhan. Yes. Erdirhan. That uh, that's a challenging one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And here I tell you have... about this building. That's very strange because the entrance of this building, the portal, you know, mm -hmm. is carried to another building. <laughs> Yes, well, it's unclear. It's unclear from the plan and from photographs. For example, he, in Wikipedia, it says that on eastern wall it has some winter hole attached, but uh, I don't, I don't see anything. Uh, uh, and on the photograph here are some something I, which is not on the plan, and I didn't see the description of it as well. Could you please go to the plan again? Hmm, let me see. Just a second. Uh, okay. So sometimes that's correct. I think you can, you you can add if you can, like by do you, using some kind of a proportion and scale, because some of these sites might not be totally explored or excavated. Mm -hmm. So the drawing by Erdman is missing. You are correct. So, but you can consider the uh, the photograph that you see. Uh, yes, over there. Yes, that's correct. You can add these additions. Uh, because especially for the specific building, the entrance portal is carried to the uh, to another building. Like means this touch couple means this very decorated, highly decorated uh, entrance is carried to another building. So most probably the one that you have in Erdman plan is missing that part. But you can you can always add you know the thing the thing that you see in your uh, proposal. Okay. okay. That's one thing. Another thing is about the archaeological reconstruction is that the level of detail is very important. Uh, it's very, you know, like that as long as you differentiate what is reconstructed and what is given, uh, you know, like means whatever your interpretation is and what is given or taken from the archaeologist drawing is a very important thing. So I recommend you to make this additional part in a different layer so that while texturing it, you would maybe leave this, this that part as a mesh as opposed to the rest of the building like well textured and reconstructed. Does it make uh, sense, Anna? Yes, yes, I understand. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Yeah. But how do you know what is what what was it? Uh, will... uh, that's exactly the process that you are doing. That's why you know, as long as you know, like you know what's you know what you know you you assume uh -huh. that it's there. Uh, I think that's that's it, it's going to be enough for us. Okay, thank you. Okay, because maybe when Ardman, Ardman you know, surveyed, you know, he couldn't see everything because he didn't do excavation in these buildings. He just was like, he based his reconstruct his surveys based on what he sees. Uh, yeah, right. And another question is about the sleeping chambers. Uh, also on the plan, they uh, are best lights. So we don't know if there are walls or no, but uh, because we know those now we know those are chambers, we should just assume there are walls, right? Uh, I'll just mm, show again. So here uh, in Wikipedia says uh, there are sleeping chambers, but on the plan, uh, on the plan, we have dashed lines, so it's unclear what it is from the plan. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, it mm -hmm. might be used both as a door and an opening inside. Yes, you're correct, actually. Uh, because usually, you know, in this uh, part of this architecture, you know, uh, the courtyard is the main uh, territory. Consider these buildings as castles as well. They might avoid having some openings towards the outside, but rather they might have the door and the, you know, the window towards the courtyard, towards the inside, okay? So uh, I think you can assume that the opening and the door is facing inside of the building around the courtyard rather than the outside. Okay. Any questions? You're doing good. Yeah. Um, uh, excuse me. Yes. yes. Anyway, that is Mudra here. Yes. Uh, so I just wanted to, so I, I actually just returned from work and started studying the uh, files, but I'm doing it mostly from internet because both the files that you have sent PDF entirely in Turkish, I think. There's only one page which is which is in English. In Chirhan is the Let caravan sarai that I'm doing. Mudra. Just a second. In, yes. in Chirhan. Yes. Yes. So both the PDFs except the plan, even the plan one actually. So I saw I went to the drawings. They are, I think, very well explained in terms of its functions and even the carving details in one of the uh, PDFs towards the end, but I'm unable to understand the language. So yeah. uh, I'm just trying to find the other documents from internet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just Mudra, very quick update for everyone. Are you aware of the matrix, you know, like this little yes, yes. file? And there's like, mm -hmm. a, like a link in the first column yes. where you can yes. get, you know, this English version of this. Uh, okay. And I already like put okay. it in the okay. head box. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you're, okay. you're correct. It, sometimes, sometimes some of the yes. applications are in Turkish, but like this brain insight is quite useful right, for right, everyone. Right. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, that's the challenging part, but you can always text us, you know, like, you know, yes. and record or email us so if, if you need any translation. Right, okay. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Amazing. Good. Mm -hmm. You became digital archaeologists. <laughs> okay. Actually, so just I want to take one more minute, you know, like then I will leave the ground to uh, Sefer and Sarvin. Then I think we will, because we will remind you about the tomorrow's plan. So it's a challenging project, by the way, uh, that we've been working on the, about this caravan rights. Thanks, you know, for your interest to this workshop and being part of it, is that that's exactly how heritage data works. You will end up having a lot of unstructured data. Uh, and it's part of the challenge, different languages, different formats, some contradictory things, as long as you do not, you know, uh, uh, lost the track of it, and let's say while you are modeling, if you put them in different layers, so that in different colors on in different representation methods, if you can rep represent, you know, these different, uh, you know, varieties and accuracy of this data, I think that's a very good job, okay? You might have some kind of assumptions. Yes, that's an interpretation. So we can consider that we are not building it like, like a building from scratch. Of course, there will be these kind of contradictions. Try to, you know, be as consistent as possible. If you have further questions, text us, you know. And tomorrow, by the way, in the workshop that we, you will join, uh, it's, a, it's gonna be even more challenging uh, because you will be doing some photogrammetric work. Photogrammetry from the internet images that you will be collecting, okay? So you will start using some of the scripts to download some data from the internet, but use tonight, try to explore as much as possible. If you need any keywords like Han, Caravansaray, you know, whatever more keywords you need, just let us know. But so far your questions are very valuable and very good, thanks a lot. 
So yeah. if we have no other questions, Should we model more details by hand? Could you please share the screen, Rupeng Wang? Ah, oh, that's a PNG. Okay, so yeah. I like Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, uh, that's good enough, actually. Yeah. Because the rest of the thing, you will see it on Wednesday, together with our third workshop. Uh, so, Sarvin Sapar, could you please share the screen for tomorrow's plans? Tomorrow's schedule. Yeah, sure. I will send it. Um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah, right. See. Yeah, uh, tomorrow we have uh, the very interesting uh, photogrammetry session. As uh, Professor Guzan says, actually, we just um, uh, have some, like, we gathered some videos and some photos uh, that are already in the drive or the links are on the Excel sheet. But uh, tomorrow you will firstly um, learn that how you can, in addition to um, just um, downloading manually or searching manually, how you can um, search uh, automatically with data scraping, scraping. Um, and we will have two, uh, we will learn two ways of it. Uh, first uh, with coding and the uh, other is uh, with a um, software that do it without any coding. And after, uh, after that, uh, as I said, uh, the photogrammetry we are doing is uh, using the photos that are not um, shooted for this purpose. We gather uh, any photo on the internet. And uh, so we will uh, learn that how we can use these sorts of photos to get such a great, uh, actually, photogrammetry results. And uh, also, uh, in addition to this, uh, we will uh, learn uh, if we want to capture it ourselves, how we should uh, use our cameras, how we should uh, shoot the photos, and how we will process the data for getting the results. And um, as we said, uh, the MIT system that we will use at the end of the workshop uh, to present the whole data uh, but uh, at this stage, we just uh, will ask you to uh, very simply upload your uh, final results to the system to uh, introduce the main things that we want, the main uh, I mean, challenging parts at the last session. Uh, because we, want, uh, we don't want to lose track of the, uh, I mean, the files and the results. And uh, we want to, and we will ask you to help us in this process to step-by-step step gather uh, all the data that, all the valuable data that you are making. And uh, additionally, I had some suggestion, maybe we can, um, if you are uh, okay with Discord, we can have the a channel for every camera site that can follow up the results from there. And um, for example, if someone is not yet finished, we can follow up from there, the groups that uh, pass the results to us. And also share their models and different groups can come to different, uh, actually to see the different groups, uh, models, and maybe share uh, their ideas. Yeah. We can use this board more interactively. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. One, one last reminder is that like you are gonna see that the MIT system that we are using that we will start using tomorrow, by the way, is a collaborative environment. So it's more about the, the crowdsourcing, putting the things together. So please use the Discord accordingly. You know, like someone's caravansarai might give an idea about like some other ones, you know, building, so. Yeah. And about your... 
question, Guangzhang. It's not an application, it's a web app and uh, actually works on every, um, actually Google Chrome, Firefox, it's okay for every browser. Yeah, for the MIT side. I, uh, so we will give you the list for the next day, every day, you know, with, so that we cannot, like, we don't load your computer. For tomorrow, you will, the main software that you will be using is going to be uh, Metashape uh, Agisoft. Uh, Agisoft Metashape, yeah. Yeah. We will provide the links. Mm -hmm. uh, for the data scraping, we might just like let you to install very quick programs. But tomorrow's main topic is going to be the Metashape Agisoft. Okay. Yeah. Like, reminder is that re you really start downloading your photographs, images, plans, you know, make your own folder right now. Okay. Until tomorrow. That's the main thing. Understand your building. Yeah. And we will mainly, all of you, if you don't get any email, please mail us and uh, the emails we will send you, they may go to your promotion. If you use Gmail, it, uh, they will may, uh, they may go to promotion or the other spams like that. Yes? Yeah, yeah. I was saying spam. Yeah, social promotion or spam, please check all of them and uh, put from spam to the inbox. Uh, you have the Discord, and uh, I hope all of you have the email of us, but we can share it again here. Yeah. Okay, so last one minute. Any last questions? Okay, amazing. Oh, yes, sorry, one last question is yes. if you'll be publishing the recording uh, of today's lecture, because I missed first two hours, so... Oh, yes, yes, you're right. Yes. Uh, uh, so it, uh -huh. Sorry. Uh, the PDF is in the uh, drive mm -hmm. and uh, we can share it here too. And I think we can, uh, we will share the session maybe. Yeah. Uh, Anna, we had like a kind of unexpected YouTube thing. We tried to set the live streaming for today, yeah. but it won't work. Mm -hmm. uh, after today, everything is gonna be live streamed. But for today's recording, we are gonna omit the waiting periods, the breaks, and like make a video and upload to YouTube, okay? Just follow our channel on YouTube, but we will also provide the same link on Discord again. Okay. So we all keep saying Discord, please. <laughs> Yes, if no questions. So tomorrow, the same time, 7 a.m. for me. <laughs> so <laughs> see you tomorrow. See you, everyone. Thank you for See you, everyone. Thanks yeah. so much. Bye -bye. Have a good day. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.